This video is to review how to format a works cited page and also go over the most common things I see when students turn in a works cited page. Often I see this. Students will say, look, I'm done with my works cited page. And unfortunately, according to MLA, this is not complete. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that the font is correct. This is currently an Arial 11 point font and we need to change that to Times New Roman 12 point font. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Another thing we need to do, and if you noticed the header did not change, so we need a head up there and also change the header to Times New Roman 12 point font. After we have that complete, we're going to take the works cited title and we're going to put it in the center of the document and that's all we're going to do with the work cited title. Then we're going to review the works and see if they are all in alphabetical order. So I'm just going to go through and make sure that all of them line up. Unfortunately best practices is in the wrong spot so we need to move that up to the correct spot here. Good and then all the rest of them are set. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that we review uh, URLs. And not just URLs, but make sure that you've reviewed Owl Purdue and have made sure all your commas and italics and quotes and periods and all that stuff are in the right spots. So that'll be something you're going to have to do on your own time as you're you know, crossing your T's and dotting your I's. But the real quick note I'll make about URLs is it depends on the teacher, honestly. Um, if your teacher says no hyperlinks or the blue font that's currently um, on my works cited page, then you just need to get rid of it. If they don't care if you have hyperlinks or not, then you just need to remain consistent, meaning either all of your URLs are hyperlinked with the blue font or they are the, their hyperlinks are removed. And if you, if you currently have it, we'll automatically do it. But if you currently have it, you can just go to uh, click on the link here and go to remove. And this will remove the hyperlink and you'll just have regular font. But if your teacher wants the URL or they don't care and you just want to keep them there, then you'll just um, have them there. And I have uh, mine throughout. So I'm just being consistent. So good. Uh, next, we need to format the document into uh, double space. So we go up here to line spacing and we move from 1.15 to double space. And we're going to do that right now. And now the lines of uh, text in the work, um, those are double spaced, but we've incidentally created the double double space and we need to get rid of that. So I'm going to go through document and get rid of these double double spaces because that is not um, a part of MLA format. Okay, after getting rid of all of those, we're now going to do the infamous hanging indent. Um, it's actually really easy. So you're going to select all of your text here. You're going to go up here to the triangle and rectangle combo and you're going to grab onto the triangle and they're going to move. So you're going to move it over to the half inch spot and all your text is also going to move. Um, and that's okay. That's what we want it to do. And then you're going to select the rectangle on top, just the rectangle. And you'll see that the triangle is going to stay put. But we're going to move the rectangle back to where the gray and the white meet. And that's going to correctly make the hanging indent. So now for each work, we have the first line flush with the one inch margin, and then every line underneath has is uh, um, flush with the half inch mark, and therefore you have a hanging indent throughout. Okay, if you need to add a source, meaning maybe you found another one and you just need to throw it into your works cited page, um, as long as you've done the select all and formatted it that correct way, then it should format for you. Um, so if I were to add another book to this uh, and go through and type it in, we're obviously not going to see it as I'm typing on the first line, 
um, but we will see it when I drop into the second one. So when I came to that publisher, it automatically dropped into the hanging indent format and then just continued from there. So if I had a URL or something like that, then it would have automatically formatted correctly. So that is how you format an Works Cited page and just some common mistakes to uh, avoid and or fix when putting this all together.